pretty good out there, um, getting around the course for the first time. You've yeah, it's going all right. Yeah, it's good. Golf, uh, the game's in pretty good shape. So, uh, you know, I, I enjoy this, you know, style of course. I don't get to play it much, but uh, yeah, it's fun. You, you got to be able to think out there. And unfortunately, the last couple of days we played it, that uh, you know the weather conditions have been perfect. So, uh, you know, it, it's a little different right now. Hopefully, uh, hopefully tomorrow we might get a bit of. You know, some wind and some rain or, or something just to uh, just to mix it up a little bit because I dare say you know by the weekend it's gonna it'll kick on. So you're you're asking for the, the tough conditions, mate. You want to get into it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I mean it's it's all I guess part of the experience too. You know, it's uh, it's just one of those ones. You know, you, you, you play a benign practice round and and, and you know you, you do all the prep work, but you know if you're not out there when it's when it's uh, when it's trying conditions, it's uh, you're basically starting again on Thursday. Now. One of the things that you've brought to your game very recently that may not have been there before is consistency. You've been really good since that win, I, I feel, you know, putting in some good results. So that must be really pleasing. Yeah, it's good. You know, it's, um, you know, it's, it's stuff that we've been working on and, uh, you know, just, just tighten up a few shots here and, and try and take some big numbers out of my game and, and uh, play a little bit conservative when it's needed and, and, and then sort of play a little more aggressive too when it's needed. So I've been able to sort of you know, maybe make a few more birdies here and there just from the aggressive play. Um, just sort of getting aggressive with different shots rather than just off the tee, you know, getting getting aggressive when we've got right numbers and, and trusting my short game. And, and then uh, when we don't, we're, we're sort of playing away from it a little more. So I guess it's sort of, you know, it's, it's hard to explain, but we're, we're being more aggressive but passive in the same time. So are you becoming the player you once thought you might have been? Um, I don't know. You know, it's, it's just one of those, one of those ones I just... Uh, I always, I always wanted to be out here and, and be able to compete at, you know, at the highest level all the time. You know, and I'm still not there. Um, you know, this is basically. My, I, always, I always wanted to be out here and, and be able to compete at, you know, at the highest level all the time. You know, and I'm still not there. Um, you know, this is basically my, this is my third major now. So, you know, I'm not even close to, to uh, at the top level. Um, so hopefully, I can just keep gaining experience and. and uh, Never know. Maybe uh, you know. Maybe I can start keep sliding up those world rankings and then really start uh, competing with the big boys all the time. I'm, I'm going to the memory bank here, but you played a British Open as a real young kid, right? Mm -hmm. And that was your only other experience. It was. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I've, yeah. I played. Uh, I think it was maybe 02 or 03, somewhere around that, um, at St George's. I think it was. So uh, you know, that was a long time ago. I, I qualified. Went through all the qualifying stages, but yeah, that was really my only. You know, British Open, well, it is my only British Open experience. I played here a few times in the Dunhill Links and then a few school ball events and that, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a different kettle of fish here with the, with the, with the Open. What I was going to get at is, mate, you're a much different golfer from way, way back then. I mean, what is the most accomplished sort of part of your game, you think, since coming as a raw kid? You know, um, you know I, I don't think my... I, I think back then I, I, I was a... I thought my game was nearly better back then but but I, I didn't have the I didn't have the you know the mental the, the mental approach that you need to, to play golf at, at, the, at the highest level um, you know I don't think I'm there yet but but learning every day basically every tournament so uh, you know <clears throat> my, my game through the through the middle there you know the last probably 10 years you know deteriorated and, and until I found a and until I found a coach and Scott Hamilton that I could that I trusted and believe in what we're doing and then sort of from there from sort of 09 through to now, it's it's gradually getting better, and you know, once your game gets to a certain level, and, and then you can really start concentrating on on the mental side of things and, and your preparation, and you know, you're not not sitting on the range beating balls every day trying to find a golf swing. It's it's sort of not there every week, but it's it's minor tweaks that sort of not there every week, but it's it's minor tweaks that be able to get you out there and compete every week. Without giving me a real basic answer, I mean, what's the one thing that you will need to do this week, specifically the, the, the main thing, I guess, if you are to, to be there Sunday when the whips are free? Discipline is going to be mine. If, if I get it in those bunkers or or uh, get get numbers that I'm in between numbers to different pins and, and start going at pins where I should be, you know, 30, 40 feet away and taking, taking pars and minimising those doubles and, and silly mistakes, the, the short side where you can make a double around here, you know, leaving the bunkers. I think if I can be disciplined and myself and uh, and Neil, my caddy, if, if we can just, uh, you know, attack when we need to attack and, and just sort of just be patient, you know, just just wait and wait and wait. I mean, it really is a patience game out here. You've got to, you know, like most majors, if, if you can have a, a nine, you know, six to nine hole stretch at some point, 
in the in the tournament and you know make five six birdies and then the rest you just tack along and, and minimize mistakes but by the end of the Sunday you're going to be somewhat somewhat around that you know we around all, that chance we all love to dream and, and think about great things but can you see yourself holding a claret Jack? Uh, no not necessarily I mean I, I didn't really see myself winning a, yeah. winning you know my, my first uh, PGA Tour event either so uh, you know it's not something that I've ever done um, you know my, my two biggest goals in life were to be on the PGA Tour by the time I was 30 and uh, to play a British Open here at St Andrews so you know I've, I've been able to you know this week you know yeah. bar a bar an